Hey everyone, Dave here, and today I have Neusfjord, the newest game from Uwe Rosenberg. I'm bringing this to the table, and I'm going to be doing a solo playthrough for you. This is published by Lookout Games, and uh, formerly Mayfair Games was a publishing partner, so it still has Mayfair in the box, but it is now Lookout Games. And uh, what we are going to be doing is we are the owner of a major fishing company in Neusfjord, and we are going to uh, be responsible for developing and expanding the harbor and the surrounding landscape. And we're going to be doing that by uh, building buildings in these particular spaces, maybe clearing off our forests. We're also going to uh, be bringing elders into our council. We have the elders are over here. And we're also going to uh, be building up our fleet of ships as we progress throughout the game. The game is going to last uh, seven rounds total. We're going to have um, three actions per round, so 21 actions in order to do this. So let's quickly take a look at uh, what is all uh, involved in the game board, and then we'll go over some of the rules and we'll start playing. So first thing we have is our player board in front of us, and down at the bottom is going to be this fishing track and we will be able to add ships to our fleet and that's going to allow us to gather more fish at the beginning of each round. Uh, on our player board itself, we have a space for our reserve where certain resources will go into uh, here and we'll have an opportunity to get them into our personal supply to be used at a later time. And then we have spaces to build buildings to start off with, uh, but at the end of the game, each un covered undeveloped space is going to be worth negative one victory point and we have some other spaces that are covered up by uh, forest tiles which we could clear off and remove later the other board that we have in front of us is going to be our, where our elder council will be and that is where we will be able to hire these elders and bring them in and they will go here and then also we have a little reference for what's going to happen during our fishing phase which is really important for distribution of resources we also have a uh, player board set up this is where our action selections are going to take place and the board is set up where for one to two players side it also has a three plus player uh, selection thing on the other side of the board and in the solo rules, we will be able to use this uh, imitation tile to copy an action. Normally, it's in a four-player game. We also have uh, a space for our Elder Council and also different ships that we will be able to build. Um, so we have uh, sloops and cutters and schooners. Each of them have their associated building costs on there and then how many victory points they are worth at the end of the game. Down here are the different elders, and these are seated based upon the number of players. So you can see one plus, so these will be out in every game. And uh, there's seven of them right um, out here. Six of them are available. There's one underneath here, and he will be exposed after this one has been brought into a council. Then we also have uh, a space for all of our buildings, and there are two decks, or three decks actually, that we're going to be um, using in this game. And I am using the Mackerel deck, which is the cards that are numbered in the uh, 200 series. You can see, whoops, I went a little bit too close there. But uh, anyways, there um, you can see they're 217. So um, there's three different decks. They recommend Herring deck for your first play. Then there's the Mackerel, and then there's also Codfish. And so what we're going to do is we're going to shuffle up the A deck and put these out. And in a solo game, these are the only, build these are the only buildings that will be used for the A deck during the entire game. In uh, higher player counts, there would be an opportunity where more of these buildings will come out. And the same thing for the B deck over on this board. And there is a C deck that later on cards will be coming out and will be available for us as well. And then finally we have uh, this banquet table where there's going to be fish here that we will be able to serve fish to the community and also use them to uh, activate our elder abilities. So. Uh, at the start of the game, what we are going to start off with the ability to gather three fish from our fishing fleet. We just have this simple ship down here. And we also have uh, a spot for our personal supply and we have two shares of our company. And, now, and these are going to be uh, important because, well, right now we have two victory points. 
And this is also going to determine um, the amount of fish we are going to receive at the beginning of each round during the fishing phase. And so uh, that's going to be important. And uh, we also have some unissued shares that we are going to want to make sure that over the course of the game we try to um, get them issued and purchase them back so that we can uh, have more resources because each unissued, unissued share is going to be worth minus one point at the end of the game. And we also have our worker discs. So we're playing as the red player because the solo game you use red and blue and you will alternate between discs during the game and you'll see how that works. So we'll also be using these blue discs. So um, the way that this is gonna work is uh, each round we're going to place three, uh, take three actions and we will resolve them as we do them and then uh, we will then uh, use the other color discs and certain ones will stay out there to act as blocking spaces. So let me quickly go over the actions that we can take. So we have um, you, one worker there, you get one gold, and that's going to simply go into your uh, personal supply, which is going to be good because you're going to need gold to build buildings, and they're also worth victory points. Transfer reserve, this is a way for you to take some of your resources that will end up in your reserve and bring them over into your personal supply. Uh, we have the ability to serve fish, and by doing that, we will take fish from our personal supply and start placing them on these banquet tables and getting gold for each plate that we will fill. Well, it starts off with uh, the associated cost. This would be like one fish to uh, go on there, and that you'll get one gold. To fill this plate, it's going to cost you two fish. One goes on here. One will go back into the general supply. Three fish, four, um, four fish up to five fish and so on. So this is gonna be important because this is how we're going to be able to activate our elders. Uh, we can build a building. And so the buildings that we have up here, uh, you simply are going to pay whatever the, the building cost is. For example, this cold storage is gonna cost you two gold. The worker's cottage is gonna cost you one wood. And there are different uh, color codes that are on these cards and they're gonna signify different things. So this is, for example, this gray color is gonna tell you that this is now active um, during a certain type of part of the game. And we have other ones now become new rules with the green. And then we also have some other ones that are like red that are gonna tell you something is going to be immediate. And so uh, that's, just going to be, that's one of the things you can, you'll notice when you're playing the game that they have uh, a little breakdown of that. So, uh, we'll, and we'll go into these buildings a little bit more in the future. And so the other thing is we can issue a share. And when we do that, we will get two gold and we will place the share on the board here until later on they can possibly be bought back. Now, uh, certain rounds, uh, the more shares that are out there, it's gonna become a little bit cheaper because you'll get a discount in later rounds of the game. So it'd be able to buy back shares later, but sometimes having them earlier is gonna help you get more fish. So that's gonna be important too. Uh, we have the deforest action, remove one forest, get five wood. That's gonna be as simple as taking one of these tiles off of a, either a stack or off of the board, exposing some uh, new spaces for buildings. We also have a way to gather up wood without removing the forest tiles, and that's by thinning them out, and you'll just get one wood per forest. Well, at the start of the game, we have four of them on there. We have two on top of each other, three, four. So we have a total of four. And then reforesting, place two forests on a free double space. Well, we have some free double spaces in the beginning of the game, and we legally could do this. You take two of them and you stack them on there, and... Now we have reforested. We've saved ourselves from losing two victory points. And we also have now uh, the ability to maybe gather wood in the future. So that's going to be really good. And we have build a ship. Simply going to be paying the resource cost in the upper corner. So for example, this one would be two wood and two fish. And it's worth one victory point all the way up till we get to the schooner. Really, uh, if you notice, I'm sorry that did that, but um, on here we see eight wood, eight fish, or four gold coins to build a schooner. So that's the only one that you can use gold to pay for. And when you purchase the fish, what you're going to do is you will take these tiles 
and you'll simply place it down on your fishing board. And now you're going to um, be building up your fleet and increasing the amount of fish that you're going to gather each round. So this is a good way for you to gather up more resources. Finally, we have take an elder and use it immediately. So you would take one of these elders and you're going to put them into your council and you will activate them using their abilities. And you need to do that by using fish from this banquet table. So it's gonna be important that uh, we put fish in there. And then finally, we have this ability to uh, copy an action. So that's a quick summary of the rules. Let's, or summary of what's going on here. And so let's get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do in the first round is I'm going to be playing with the red discs. So I have to kind of figure out what kind of strategy that I'm going to want to go for in this game. And we'll have to look at the buildings because this is going to help determine some of the strategy. So if we look up here, we have this Fisher's Cottage. Uh, this says whenever you distribute fish, carry out step three twice, which I'm going to go over shortly. Uh, we have the Chief's House, which e with each new elder, we're going to add gold into our reserve. So maybe we want to get elders. It's going to help us get some more gold. Um, stock management, this is really good. Uh, schooners are going to cost me one less gold. And then at the end of the game, I'll be able to get one victory point per schooner that I have in my fleet. Well, the maximum this is going to be worth is three victory points because there's only three schooners in the game for solo. Uh, clearing with each new gold in your supply, I gather wood. So every time that I get a gold, I'm also going to get wood. So that's good. Uh, worker's cottage, after I reforest, a deforest, I can put forest stuff down and then immediately get wood from that. So that's going to be a good way for me to build more buildings with that worker's cottage. We have cold storage, and this is going to uh, manipulate how things are going to happen with our elders when they get three fish on them, which we'll see as the game progresses. We have this logger's pond after each turn in which I remove one or two forests, I get plus two fish. So an interesting uh, combination because this logger's pond will help me get fish every after each turn in which you remove one or two forests plus two fish. Well, after I reforest, I deforest. So if I did that, I would be removing stuff. These two make an interesting combo together. This will help me get wood and fish. So that's a really neat combo. And that logger's pond is essentially free. It doesn't have any building cost. It's also not worth any victory points. And so, um, and then we have the purveyor before you use an elder serve fish, but only on one plate that will allow me to basically take a serve fish action, uh, but it's modified where I can only do it one time. Then we have the laborer's square after I issue a share, I can trade one, I take, can trade one gold in for three wood and four fish. So it's an interesting way for me to uh, gather up resources by doing that. And then we also have the sailor's home, and immediately what I would do is place one, one uh, gold on each of the elders that I would have in my council. And when I use their ability, then I would take a gold. We have the poor house, which would immediately move all fish from the banquet table to your supply. Well, that's really kind of neat because if I load this all up and I, and I were able to uh, you get that card, I would take all these fish and put them into my personal supply which there would be a maximum of seven fish, but still that's pretty cool. And then also it makes the uh, ability to uh, go back and serve fish uh, even cheaper because everything would be removed. Now we have this uh, stilt house, immediately place the stilt house on the free 10, 11, 11, 12 space on the fishing track. Well, if I look at our fishing track down in the bottom, you'll see these stilts and they line up with this particular space, 10, 11, 11, 12. You can put this card in earlier, but you uh, it will not take effect until all of these other spaces are covered up uh, by different boats throughout the game. And if for some reason you encroach upon one of these spaces with your fleet, you will not be able to build it. It has to fit exactly in this particular spot. And then we have uh, the playhouse which this little question mark equals round in which you build the playhouse. Well, the earlier you build the playhouse, the less gold it costs, and it's also worth 11 victory points. So that's pretty huge, but uh, you're gonna wanna try to be able to get a lot of fish and build it as soon as possible. Then we have this residence. Immediately, you're gonna get one wood and one fish per elder that I have in my council, so that's good. And then we have this driftwood rafting at hall size 12, meaning that I can have uh, 12 fish each round. Um, what's going to happen is I can take two wood into my reserve. So before each worker action. So every time that I do that, I mean, I can take get six wood into my reserve just by um, having this driftwood rafting. 
And then finally, we have our different uh, elders that do different things. So we have um, our contractor, which is going to uh, essentially use fish to be able to remove forests and build buildings. So if I remove forests with the contractor, if I have the loggers pond, that helped me get fish. So that's pretty cool. We have this uh, constructor, which is going to allow me to build a ship or build a building. So I can use his ability if one of these spaces were occupied before. And we also have the pond builder. This would mean that I could distribute four fish plus one fish per building as I would during the fishing phase. And so that's essentially a way for me to distribute even more fish. So that's pretty cool. And we have the forest manager, which is going to allow me to remove forests to get uh, five wood plus one gold. And again, if I had the loggers pond up there, it would help me gather up fish. And then we have the sailor who is also going to give me uh, wood when I serve fish in addition to the gold for each time that I do that. And then finally we have the harbor master which is going to allow me to upgrade ships essentially for free. So that's, that's also good. So uh, let's start. Um, so it looks to me like uh, trying to get that one building, that logger's pond, that seems like uh, something that I'm going to want to do. So I'm going to take my disc and I'm going to go over to the build a building space. And so actually before I do that, I'm sorry, the first thing that we do every um, round is we're going to do this fishing phase. And so what we're going to do is it's going to be determined by how many fish we have on our fishing track. So we're going to have three fish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take three fish from the general supply and I have to distribute them. So the way that I have to do this first is if I have any elders. I do not have any elders right now in there so I don't have to put any fish on them. Then your shares in foreign possession. This would be uh, shares that if we we're playing a multiplayer game that would be uh, purchased by either other players or they are still sitting on this issue, a share space on the board. Finally, we go to your shares in your personal supply, which we do. So we would put one on each one. So there's one there and one there. And then finally, if we have any fish left over, they're going to go into our uh, reserve, which would be here. And if we, we can only have a maximum of eight fish, if we have more than eight in our reserve, then they would have to go back to the general supply. So we've done our fishing phase. Now we can take these two and put them onto our personal supply. So I have two fish available and we can take our action. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go and build a building. And I think I'm going to do this logger's pond uh, because after each turn in which I remove one or two forests, I can get fish. So that's going to be something that I can find to be useful. So I will place this over here. Now, let me just verify with this particular one that the fish will go into my active, um, into my supply and not my reserve. So they actually have an appendix that you will be able to look up all of the different cards. And so this is a logger's pond. So if we just look up under L, and I just wanted to verify this because I have not used this particular deck yet. I've only played with the first one. But let's look here. The Logger's Pond says, after each turn in which you remove one or two forests from your harbor board, take two fish from the general supply and place the fish in your personal supply. So that means that they would go into uh, stuff that we can be used right away. So that is, that's really, really good. All right. So the next action that I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, I think that I want to go ahead and issue a share right away. So I'll go on the space and I will take one of these and then I'm going to add it to the board right there. So I want to try to be able to get more fish because I want to be able to have to do things. And essentially I want to try to be able to get that playhouse built. That's something that I want to try and shoot for. And then finally, I'm going to take this third disc and I am going to, um, well, I'm going to deforest. So I will remove one forest and then I will get five wood. So I'm going to remove one, take it right off the board, put it over here, and I'm going to get five wood from doing so. So I have one, two, three, four, five, five wood there. 
And um, so that's the last th action that I've taken this particular round. And so um, also after each turn in which I remove one or two forests, I'm going to get two fish. So we have two fish coming over into our personal supply. So what's going to happen now is uh, at the end of this particular turn, uh, these workers are going to stay on the board. So they're as blocking spaces for next round and I'm going to be using the blue discs. So we'll move this to the next round here and we're going to do the fishing phase again. <clears throat> so again, we have three fish coming out. One, two, three. And we have to go uh, down the line. We do not have any elders. Your shares in your in foreign possession, there is one here. So I have to put this out there like that. And then the other two, one will go on one share, one will go on the other, and I don't have any more. So now that I've done that, what's going to happen is these two are going to move into my personal supply, and this one will go back into the general supply. So uh, now we are ready to take our actions. We have lots of things here. We also have more buildings out here that we can uh, look at. Um, we can try and distribute even more fish with this Fisher's Cottage. So uh, again, that's something that I think that I want to uh, go for. So I think I'm going to take my blue action and I'm going to build another building. So I'll go on to this particular space and I will have to pay that resource of one wood. So one wood goes back and I will take this Fisher's Cottage and there we go. Whenever I distribute fish, carry out step three twice. So uh, what I'm going to definitely want to do is try to be able to get more fish to be able to distribute. So I need to build a I need to build a uh, boat. So what I'm going to do for my next action is build a ship. And I'm going to look to see what I have available to build. Um, I don't have any gold right now, so I guess I'm going to have to take a sloop. So I will take two wood and two fish from my supply and I'm going to pay for them. So two fish go back over there, two wood go over to there, and I will take this sloop now and I will add it to my fishing line. And now I have the ability to gather up five fish. And I finally have one more action and I think what I'm going to end up doing is taking this and just going up here and gathering one gold. So I'll take one little gold coin and place it over here. So. That's the end of the second round. So you can see things, we're moving rather, rather, <clears throat> rather quickly here. So we don't have, uh, the only thing that we need to do in terms of uh, cleanup is all of our workers are going to come home. Uh, so this particular turn we put out the blue disc. So now the red ones are going to come back for us to use and the blue ones are going to stay out on the board. So we'll move up to this next round here. And here comes the next fishing phase. So um, we are going to take five fish now because that's how many we have. So one, two, three, four, five. And now we're going to distribute them again. So we start off, we don't have any elders yet. We have uh, shares in your foreign possession. Here is one over here. And now we are going to do our uh, personal supply. So we're gonna put one here and one here. And because whenever we distribute fish, carry out step three twice, now we can do this again. We put another fish here, another fish here. So you can see we're able to gather, we're able to get fish rather quickly. These are all going to go into our personal supply. And this one over here is going to go back into the general supply. So here we go. Um, I think I wanna try and get, see now it's gonna start, um, making me have to think about what I'm going to want to do because I want to get a bunch of fish um, because I want to be able to build a playhouse but I also need gold because right now we're in the third round so um, it's going to become very it's going to become uh, very very expensive to do this pretty soon so um, I think I'm going to have to start thinking about um, some other things to do. Maybe I need to get some elders to help move things along, um, but that's gonna take uh, using some fish, but I can also get gold that way. So uh, the next thing that I'm going to want to do this particular round is uh, maybe I will um, 
take this, I, maybe I want this pond builder. He looks pretty good. So we're gonna go and take an elder and immediately use his effect. So what's gonna happen now, this elder is gonna come over here to us and we're going to activate him. So I can activate him once. I need to use a fish off of here. I can't use fish from my personal supply. It can only come from the banquet table to activate him. So I'm going to come up and put one fish on the top of him. And then it says, distribute four fish plus one fish per building as you would during the fishing phase. Well, I have two buildings. So two plus four equals six. So now I have six fish to distribute. So we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got too many. So we have six fish. Again, we're gonna to have to distribute. Now, one is going to go on this elder here. So, um, because that's step one, number two, shares in foreign possessions, gonna go over here on this board. And then finally, we're going to do um, our personal share. So we do one, two, and because of the Fisher's Cottage, we get to do it again. So we have two more fish. So four fish going in here. We are a fish building machine. So now we have, we have uh, let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 fish already, and it's the third round. So um, if we can't get to the playhouse, there's gonna be some other cards coming up, maybe we can have something else, but we are definitely in the fishing business here. And uh, when we get to this elder, when we have uh, three fish on there, they're go it's going to essentially clear off and we're gonna get another one into our supply, so that's pretty cool. So, uh, let's see. So we took one of the elders. That was pretty neat. Uh, you know, I'm trying to think if I want to buy gold yet. If I wait one more round to um, buy gold, then it's going to become a discount. So I think now is a good time to... Um, hmm. Do I want to issue another share? This actually needs to go in the personal supply. Do I want to issue another share? Hmm... Or do I want to buy another boat? Actually, what I need to do is I'm going to take a deforest action. And so I will remove one forest and get five wood. So I take one off of the board and I'm going to get five wood. One, two, three, four, five. And um, so I have to be aware, though, I can only have a maximum of 12 wood in my personal supply. So I can't stockpile it too much. So um, I do that, and then after each turn in which you remove one or two forests, I get two fish. So two more fish come back over into the personal supply. So again, we have lots of fish. Um, and I think what I'm going to try to do is gather up some gold, and then maybe I can get another uh, windfall of fish, or should I build a, uh, another boat? Um, so this space is already occupied, but I can use this copy in action. And I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. I'm going to copy an action. And so we'll line it up with this particular column over here. And we are going to go ahead and build another ship. And what I'm going to do is spend six wood in one coin. And I'm going to get myself, uh, one of these cutters. So we have two, four, five, six wood. So I spent all my wood and my one coin. So we'll put these all back into the uh, into the supply. One there, and then all of this wood goes back into this here. And we're going to build this cutter. And this is going to come down here in our fishing line. And now we have seven fish that we can do. So that's the end of the third round. Now what I did is I opened up some spaces here, so I'll have to think about either building more buildings or possibly reforesting. So that's pretty cool. So what's going to happen now <clears throat> is at the end of the round, since we played the uh, red discs, we're going the blue ones are going to come back home. So we gather them up off the board. One, two, three. And we're going to move into the fourth round. So they see the game's already half over. And uh, what this says is immediately place four C buildings in the display. So we have this C deck up here, which we haven't had a chance to see before. We don't know what these are going to be out. And basically, as our fishing uh, village and our business is developing, we have new opportunities that are showing up. And so we now have this harbor gate that we can build. 
six victory points if your fishing track is fully covered. We have the, the nursery at game end, cover negative victory points on building spaces with wood from your supply. Well, that's kind of interesting. I can deforest and then I can cover up everything. Uh, we also have the longhouse. At the game end, no victory points for issue share. No, for uh, issued shares, un, for issued shares in your supply. Um, at game end, no victory points for issued shares in your supply. Oh, okay. So you won't you won't lose points for not having them um, unissued. And then finally, the fourth one is the uh, chancery eight victory points if you have uh, four or more elders. So. These are kind of conditional things. Uh, boy, oh boy, it'd be interesting to try to fill up that fishing track and fully cover it. Um, and there is a way to do that because if I have my eye on that stilt house over there, that will, will uh, also give me uh, quite a bit of a windfall of fishing and that's worth three victory points. So if I look down here, I have uh, one, two, three, four, four spaces to fill that up so if I put a schooner down there that could actually be pretty good so something to think about um, let's see all right so at the beginning of the round we have to do our fishing phase so I'm gonna have seven fish coming in so we'll grab a seven fish one two three four five six and here is seven so uh, now what we have to do is we have to start off, we go on our elders. So this one now has three fish on here. So what's going to happen now is one is going to go into our personal supply. Uh, and then the other two are going to go back into the general supply. So we've cleared them off. So uh, now we can use them again. Uh, but unfortunately, at this point, we can't activate them because there are no fish out there. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do is a fish on unissued shares. So we have one that's going to go over there. And then essentially, we get to do this twice for each one. So just to expedite things, I'm going to go two and two. And we have one leftover fish that's going to go in our reserve. These are going to move over here. And this one is going to go into the general supply. So... Um, I have a lot of fish here. I think I need to get some gold and I'm going to try and make it, <coughs> make a move to get that, uh, that playhouse. It's worth a lot of points. So, uh, my first action that I'm going to do is I'm going to serve fish and this is going to give me one gold per, uh, per served plate. So it's cheap right now. So this, so I put one here, this is going to give me one gold. The next one's going to cost me two fish. So I put one here. And one in the general supply, that's two gold. The next one is gonna cost three fish. So we'll go, we'll take this, we'll go uh, one, two, three. That's three gold. And we'll do it one more time. So one, two, three, that is now four gold. Um, <clears throat> let's see, we're in the fourth round and I still have Two, four, six, eight, ten fish. So I need five. I need five fish. Um, I would. I can be able to do that. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and take the four gold for doing that fishing action. One, two, three, four for serving fish. So that was good. That was really good action, right there to do that. Um, so the other thing is now that I have elders in here, I can actually put my disc on there and take that action. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. We'll go over here. We'll take one fish off of here and activate his ability. And it says distribute four fish plus one fish per building um, as you would during the fishing phase. Well, I have two buildings, so that's going to give me six fish to distribute. So we have uh, two, four, five, and six so one goes on the elder so that's now two on our elder and one over here on our unissued share and then we get to do that thing twice with one two right over here come into our supply and the next thing that we are going to do is um uh, i thought i was going to be able to get one more fish but i guess not i'm, I'm going to be short one gold um, oh, here we go. 
I will go ahead and I've done two actions now. It's going to cost me one more gold for next round. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and be able to do it for next round, gather up one gold so that I can prepare to build that playhouse next round. So that's the end of this particular round. We are going to um, clear off the red discs because we're going to use them the next round. Here they come. We move our, our uh, round marker up the next one. And we are going to, again, go back to our fishing phase. So we have seven fish. Um, so take seven here. Two, four, six, and seven. One's going to go on our elder, which, again, is going to clear them off. One's going to go into our personal supply. Two are going to go into the general supply. One fish is going to go on to this unissued share, which we forgot to clear that one off before. And we get to do the other thing essentially twice. So two fish here and two fish down here and one back in our reserve. This one comes off. So now um, I have enough gold. I have five gold. We are in the fifth round. And I have plenty of fish, so let me just check to make sure that we have, um, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, we have fifteen fish, we have enough gold to build that building, so of course we're going to go over, we're going to build it. And we are going to spend essentially... All of our gold, we have four left over, but all this, all these fish are going to go away. And we have, we'll have uh, four left over to, in our supply. These are the, all of them. And we're going to spend all of our gold coins to build that playhouse. Hopefully it was worth it, but 11 points is a pretty good amount of points for a score. So these go here and this is also going to have a nice combo with some of my, with our elder here as we go to distribute fish. So we put the playhouse back there. So we just gathered up 11 victory points. That's awesome. All right. Now, um, we could try to do some more things. If we have four or more elders, do we want to take any more elders? Well, sure, there is one, the forest manager. If I remove forests, I'm going to be able to get wood. And then uh, the other thing is... The uh, worker's cottage, this is a pretty good thing too. If I, if after I reforest, I can deforest, and then that also is going to give me fish. So that's another building that I can go ahead and use. Um, and I actually have one wood left. So um, again, these buildings are giving me really good abilities, but they're not worth, um, they're not worth a lot of victory points. And even the ones that are down here, I mean, I have a chance to get eight victory points, but I think I scored the mother load with that one for 11. And this longhouse is good at game end, no victory points for issued shares in your supply. Oh, so, oh actually, it's just going to be worth six victory points. It won't give me any for those. So, um, and I still have negative two victory points sitting here, so I have to figure out what I want to do. Um, and... The other thing is I can try to build that schooner and then build that stilt house, which I think I'm going to go ahead and do that and shoot for a, a goal to be able to uh, fill up the fishing track and then maybe get this harbor gate if I have enough time. But I also am going to have more cards coming out pretty soon. So I have to think about what options I'm going to want to do here. Um, boy, and that would give me more fish, but I really need to, I need to have more wood. And so um, if I reforest, I can default. Let me, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and build a building. So I'll go over here and I'm going to spend this one wood and I'll put it in there. And I'm going to take this uh, worker's cottage. So this is going to at least cover up space over here. And it says after you reforest, deforest. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and use this and I'm going to reforest. And that's going to place two forests on a free double space. Well, I have a double space over here. So what I'm going to do is take these two and place them on there. So now after I reforest, I deforest. So I'll take this off. When I deforest, 
basically I'm gonna remove one and get five wood. So I'm gonna get five wood back. So this is a pretty good turn, right? There's one, two, three, four, five wood. And um, after each turn in which you remove one or two forests plus two fish. So I've got this great combo going on right here. All right. And so now I have six fish and I have five wood. So I'm actually getting close to being able to build a cutter. All right, so that's the end of this particular round. So um, what's going to happen now is the blue discs are going to come back. So we've got this one here, this one here, and this one over here on their elder. They come back home. We are going to move on to round six, which says place three buildings, three C buildings in the display. So we're going to have three more come out. So now we have the fish house. Uh, this is going to be uh, the amount of, this is seven victory points, and this is the hall size plus another player's hall size. Uh, let me clarify what's going to happen on a solo game with the fish house. And because this is going to be kind of uh, interesting. So we're going to consult this and the fish house. In the solo game, only your hall size counts. Sweet. So right now it's going to cost me seven fish to be able to build. So that's going to be pretty awesome. Uh, and so we have that one came out. We have another one that is going to be the renting service. Three victory points plus one victory point per ship on the supply board. Huh. That's pretty good because there are still a bunch of ships out there. So um, that's a good way to get... Uh, some victory points and then finally the third one is going to be the boarding house plus uh, this is going to be five victory points if I have three or more B buildings well I only have one so that's probably not going to happen but there are a couple ones here this fish house is seems like it's pretty good the hall size plus another player's hall size well I have enough wood and I have two four six uh, my hall size is seven. I could actually build that building this turn. So I'm going to actually try to do that. So on my turn, what I'm going to do is go ahead. Well, first we have to do our fishing phase. So I will have enough fish then. I'm going to take seven fish. So we've got two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So one goes on the elder. One goes on our uh, share out here on the foreign possession, and then we get to do that other thing twice. So two fish on this one and two fish over on this one. And then finally we have this one is going to go back in the general supply. These move over to here, these move over to here, and we have this one goes back into the general supply. So uh, my first action, well, we're going to build that fish house because I happen to have another fish. Uh, I have enough fish, so um, what I'm going to do over here is go and copy an action because both of the build a building spaces were occupied this turn, and I'm going ahead and build it. And so I'm going to spend my uh, four wood, so one, two, three, four, and we'll put those in the supply. And we were going to spend seven fish, so one, two, three four, five, six, seven. So seven fish are gonna go away and we will build that fish house. So this is actually turning out pretty good. Um, so that's gonna give us seven victory points. Put that right there. We have five buildings right now. Uh, I could potentially try to uh, get some more later on next round because both of those uh, build buildings are going to be opened up. So uh, what I need to do, though, is uh, deforest. And that would be a good thing because uh, if I go ahead and remove the forest, if I remove this, I'll deforest, remove uh, one forest and get five wood. This comes off. And I'm going to get uh, five wood. One, two, three, four, five. So okay, now I have six wood in our reserve. And... Um, each turn in which you remove a, four, a one or two forests plus two fish. So here we go. Two more fish coming into our supply. All right. So now we have two, four, five fish, and we have two, four, six. 
uh, wood. <clears throat> I don't have any gold, and so it's gonna it's kind of preventing me from building some of these other buildings. Uh, but let's see, we have um, let's see what else can we do? We can try to look to get some victory points. Um, some of these other buildings, colder, cold storage elders with three fish, one into your supply, one to your general supply, leave one on the elder. That would be pretty good. Should have had that earlier on, but that's all right. It costs two gold to do that. Schooners cost me one less gold. I really haven't been doing anything with fishing, so that's not been very good. Um, with each new gold in my supply. So some of these buildings haven't really been going along with my strategy. I was really going heavy with the fish to see what was gonna happen. And then uh, we're not at hall size 12, but um, here, and we don't haven't really been taking a lot of elders. We've been pretty much going after uh, the fish. Now, this, I need to get some gold because this would really, really be good. Here, three victory points plus one victory point per ship on the supply board. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more. This potentially is uh, like 10 points. So I have to figure out how to be able to do that. I have some fish, I have enough wood. I just need to get the gold. Uh, and I'm gonna be able to do that next round because I think um, I'm gonna try to take, uh, boy oh boy, I don't know if I'm gonna, no I don't think I'm gonna be able to get enough gold. I could, um, I could, I don't have enough fish in order to do that, um, in order to get the gold. And I don't have, and even if I did the plus one gold, I wouldn't be able to copy the action to be able to do that. So it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get the renting service. Um, so it's looking like some of these things down here are not going to be uh, giving me very good points. My fishing track is not fully covered. And again, I need three gold. So I've shorted myself on gold this turn uh, to my own um, disadvantage, but I still have some pretty nice uh, points gathered up here because of these things. So we're gonna go ahead and go into the final round. So these red discs are gonna come back home. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do our fishing thing again. So we have seven fish, two, four, six, one more, give me seven. So one is gonna go on our elder, one is gonna go on this foreign share, and then we get to do the other thing twice. So essentially I have four fish coming over, and then we have this one going back into our reserve. So we have four fish there. Uh, let's see. So um, we have two, four, six. we have plenty of fish uh, to be able to do things. We don't have enough to build a um, boat though, because we need gold. So I'm trying to look for ways for me to get victory points and uh, and try to get as many as I can. Um, so the uh, we don't have any schooners. Stock management's not going to be very good. The chief's house, that's two victory points. I don't have any gold. That's going to cost gold. Most of these things are going to cost gold. Um, Wow, laborers square three, the laborers square, that's gonna cost me one. No victory points though on any of these things. The stilt house, I could do, ah, here we go. Um, this, let's see what I'd be able to do with a building and then do the fish and then um, be able to, I won't have enough to be able to still do this renting supply. So I am, uh, no, I'm just, I'm trying to have, uh, I'm just kind of wondering if I've done, uh, I can't get as many points as I would like to get, but um, there's the sailor's home. That's worth two victory points. Maybe I'll build that building. So we'll go ahead and we will build this building. We're going to spend uh, four wood and two fish. So one, two, three, four wood right here. Those in there and two fish here. And we're going to build this sailor's house. And this says immediately, whoops, immediately one gold on each of your elders. Take gold from elder when you use him. So I'll place this down here. And one gold will go on to him. Now, uh, let's see. I can get another victory point by spending a gold and getting my share back. And essentially it would be free. So if I did that, um, that's going to probably give me that's going to give me one additional victory point. Um, I have two actions left. 
So I have two discs. Do I want to try to build anything else? I don't have any gold coins uh, right now. And so that's not going to help me. The stilt house. The stilt house is worth three victory points. So maybe I will go ahead and do that by building another building. So build a building here. Spending one wood, which we have one wood here into the general supply and build the stilt house. Now this says here to um, immediately place the stilt house on the free 10, 11, 11, 12 spaces on the fishing track, which is down here at the end. Now it's not going to help my uh, it's not going to help my fishing haul right now because I still I am way short, but um, still going to give me some victory points at the end of the game. I'm going to lose minus one right there. So the final is that really the action that I want to do? Um, you know something? I think instead of building the stilt house, I'm going to put this back. Um, spend one wood. Maybe I'll spend the second wood. And I'm going to take the poor house instead. It's worth one victory point, but it also covers up the space here. And immediately move all fish from the banquet table to your supply. So I have these off here. And uh, unfortunately, I don't have anything that costs a whole bunch of fish, but that would be really neat to build. Um, so my last action that what I'm going to end up doing is uh, taking buying all shares so this one here that fish doesn't go there i'll take this share and because it's the last round it'll be a two gold discount so it's essentially free so i now have three shares in my company and that is uh the completion of the game so let's take a look we're going to tally up all of our uh, our victory points so um the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to lose two victory points from our unissued shares but we're going to start over here with all of our buildings we're gonna add them up. We have zero there, zero there. Here's 11, and then uh, zero. So we're still at 11. 11 and seven is 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 27, 26, 25 points is my final score uh, for this game. I had a gold up here, but I will not be able to claim that. So 25 points for the uh, for Noosefjord. Um, hopefully this, um, you forgive the camera work moving around, but you get a chance to kind of see what I'm looking at at the game. But hopefully this will give you an understanding of how Noosefjord plays, some of the different combos that are in here. Uh, different strategies that you can go about. Like I said, I went heavy on the fish strategy and it paid off for me to be able to do this one. I had quite a number of fish to be able to get this fish house. Uh, but again, you know, there's still a bunch of cards that came out that we never saw. There could have been different things that were out there. Uh, but anyways, there's lots of different options in here. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed this and uh, make sure you check out, I'll have a review video posted for this soon too. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you later. Uh, and again, this was Noosefjord from Uwe Rosenberg. So long. Bye-bye.